Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Photolia, the stock photography community. In this video, we'll be taking a look at textures and how they can alter the feel of your image. Let's jump in and see what's what. So here I am, I'm starting off in Adobe Bridge and I've got my image selected here. This is actually one that I took at Rutland Water, a beautiful nature reserve here in the UK. I'm gonna open this by clicking on the icon at the top here to open it in Adobe Camera Raw. And you can see I've already done quite a lot in Adobe Camera Raw here. And I'm gonna click open image to bring it into Photoshop. There we go, all ready to go. Now we can add any texture we like, and of course we can go to Photolia to get hold of those. In fact, let me show you that. Here I am in Photolia. All I need to do is go to Images and Categories. And then if I scooch down a little bit, you can see the background and texture is something that is available to us. I click Texture. And then when I come to choose which texture I'd like, you can see that I get an option here to do it as a half a download. Now this is great because we do not need it as full resolution. So a half download will do us fine. I've already got lots of textures, so let's not do that here. Let's go back to Photoshop. I'm actually gonna go back to Bridge and then I can open my textures. Now I've got my stock images here and you can see that I've got a folder just for textures. So let's go in there. So you can see that all of these ones I've downloaded from Photolia. It's just some of the ones that I like. And they give me all kinds of different results. The one I'm actually going to go for is this one right here. So let's click on the little icon at the top there again and bring it into Adobe Camera Raw. If you're using Photoshop CS5 or prior to Photoshop CS5, then you might want to make some adjustments here. I'm using Photoshop CC, which means I can always jump back into Adobe Camera Raw. So for me, I'm just gonna open the image and in it comes into Photoshop. Then all I have to do is go to select and select all, edit and copy, then go back onto my image and say edit and paste. And there it is, it's all ready to go. I'm gonna to go to edit, transform, and scale, and then just bring these up to where I want them. There we go, that was easy enough. Let's click the tick. Now to blend this in with the image that I've already got, I use the blend modes. You'll find them here at the top of the layers palette. Now I know from messing around already with this that multiply works quite nicely, and you can see it's a dramatic change straight away. Overlay might well work nicely, and so might soft light. But depending on the texture and depending on what you want to do, of course, it's gonna alter the blend modes that you use. I'm gonna go back to overlay, and that's a little bit too strong. Now I can reduce the opacity, of course, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into a smart object. So I'm gonna go to filter, convert for smart filters, click okay. And then I can go back to Adobe Camera Raw as I discussed a little minute ago. So let's go to Adobe Camera Raw. Now from here, I can change all kinds of things. Let's put the clarity up a little bit, make it a bit more grungy. And uh, let's bring the shadows down. And then I can add a bit of a vignette in there as well. Let's bring that down. There we go. And click OK. And sure enough, that's reflected straight away on my image. And I'm gonna click on that little downward facing arrow and bring the opacity down just a little bit. And there we are. Very quickly with this one layer, I've gone from this image to this image, changing the feel of it absolutely and completely. There we go, I'm Eric Reno. Thank you very much for joining me here for Photolia. Don't forget to come and join me at tipsquirrel.com, find my YouTube channel and all over social media. I'll be happy to answer any questions you've got and of course, we'll answer them here, maybe in the following weeks. Until next time, bye-bye for now.